LEGO Education has officially announced that Spike Prime and Spike Essential are being retired. Not phased down quietly, not being replaced with a clear successor, but just retired. With sales ending this year and software support extending to 2031. Now, LEGO Education has been very careful in how they've framed this. They've reassured educators that Spike remains a valuable tool for classrooms, summer programs, and after-school activities. The Spike app will continue to be supported across Windows, Mac OS, Chromebooks, iOS, and Android for the next five years. Bug fixes will continue, and operating system updates will continue. And even after 2031, the software won't suddenly disappear, it just won't receive further updates. On paper, that's actually a very reasonable and responsible end-of-life plan. But emotionally and practically, this still hits a nerve for a lot of educators. Spike wasn't perfect, but it became deeply embedded in many STEM programs around the world. For some schools, it was the first serious robotic system they've ever invested in. For others, it was the natural evolution from WeDo or EV3. For competitions like first LEGO League teams, Spike Prime has been the backbone of the robot game for years now. And yes, this isn't the first time LEGO Education has retired a product, but it's always unsettling when a system you've grown to know, teach and rely on is suddenly put on the countdown clock. What makes this retirement feel different though is not that Spike is going away, it's how it's going away. When EV3 was retired, Spike already existed. There was uncertainty, sure, but there was also this very clear narrative. This is the future, and here's where you're heading next. This time, Spike is being retired without any named replacement, any product reveal, or even a clear hint of what the next hardware platform actually looks like. And that silence is what's worrying me. Educators don't just buy kits, they buy ecosystems. Well, they build ecosystems. They train staff, they design curriculum, they write assessments, develop competitions, and plan budgets years in advance. And a platform disappearing without a visible successor makes all of that planning feel very fragile. At the same time, I don't believe that LEGO education is simply walking away from robotics or physical computing. In fact, there are some strong signals suggesting the opposite. A few moments ago, the LEGO education Facebook page has changed their branding to prominently feature the words computer science and AI. And that kind of messaging shift doesn't happen by accident. Lego is very deliberate about how they position themselves, especially in education. And to me, this suggests that we're not looking at a minor refresh or a Spike Prime Mark II, but something more fundamental. A platform that is likely CS focused and possibly AI aware rather than robotics first. And then there is a much bigger piece of the puzzle, First Lego League. First Australia recently announced something called First Lego League Future Edition. And this is where the speculation starts to become much more grounded. According to First, Future Edition is a reimagined First Lego League experience powered by Lego Education Computer Science and AI. It introduces wireless hardware, motors, sensors, controllers, as well as interactive game models that contain embedded electronics. The gameplay itself is changing too, shifting towards semi-cooperative play on a shared field. And there are now defined student roles like driver, operator, technician, specialist, and the entire structure is being designed to be more classroom friendly, not just competition centric. Most importantly, First Australia has confirmed a transition timeline. From August 2026, there will be two editions of First LEGO League running side by side for a limited time. The current Spike-based program will continue as the Founders Edition with its final season in 2027-2028. Alongside it will be the new Future Edition built around LEGO Education's next generation computer science and AI system. This tells us something critical. Spike isn't being abandoned. It's being sunset as part of a deliberate phased transition. What does it all likely mean? Well, based on everything we know, I don't think the next LEGO education platform is just going to be another robot kit. It will almost certainly be wireless by design, more modular, and far easier to deploy at scale in classrooms. I would expect it to support multiple programming approaches, blocks, text, and possibly AI-assisted workflows and to place a much greater emphasis on systems thinking rather than just building one autonomous robot. 
In other words, Spike was a robotics platform that taught computer science, and what's coming next feels like a computer science platform that happens to include robotics. And that's actually a very important shift. For educators, the most important thing right now is not to panic. Spike is not suddenly obsolete. You have official software support until 2031, which in education terms is a very long time. If you are teaching good fundamentals, uh, algorithmic thinking, decomposition, debugging, iteration, and collaboration, those skills will transfer cleanly to whatever comes next. What I would avoid uh, doing is building programs that are overly dependent on Spike-specific quirks or workflows. Focus on the concepts, not the tools. Teach students how to think, not just how to click the right blocks. If anything, this announcement is a reminder that platforms change, but good education is going to survive. Spike lowered the barrier to entry while still supporting advanced work. So if LEGO gets this next transition right and the slow, careful rollout suggests that they're trying to, we may be heading into the most accessible and scalable era of LEGO-based CS education yet. Spike may be retiring, but LEGO education clearly isn't done. And as soon as we know more, especially how this will roll out in Australia, I'll be breaking it down properly. Maybe sometime next week. Until next time, take care.